Hi there, yogi friends, and welcome to this 30-minute yin practice with me, Wandering Alice. Today, the theme is nourish, because in our last practice, we rooted into the earth and we thought about rooting and being present and feeling safe. And I think that in order to do that successfully, we must nourish ourselves. So that's why the theme today is nourish. And I think that yin practice is absolutely perfect for nourishing ourselves because it's much slower, it's uh, very meditative, and it's reaching into those deeper tissues, our ligaments and our joints and our fascia, which is like a, a sort of cling film wrap around all of our organs and all of our muscles. And these are all really important areas of our body that we need to nourish. And when we nourish our bodies in a suitable way, then we nourish ourselves, we nourish our minds, our hearts, and it means that we can go out into the world and just feel, you know, more at one. And that's why I wanted to bring <clears throat> this yin practice to you today. So I will say to you that we're going to hold each pose for two to three minutes with a rebound pose in the middle. So between every posture that we take, there will be a one minute rebound where we come into either belly shavasana or shavasana laying on our back. And that's just to allow our bodies the time to realign after really deeply um, working them. So when we come into each pose, I invite you to come to an appropriate depth for you. So don't over, you know, don't over come into a pose. If it's uncomfortable, if you feel any sharp pain, definitely come out of the pose and just come into a relaxation pose. Um, you know, but resolve to come to a level where you feel that you can stay for those two to three minutes. So if that means not coming in quite as deep as you think you can, it doesn't matter. If you can hold that pose, it's gonna be much more beneficial to you. And when you get into each of these yin poses, I invite you to breathe, really come into your body, uh, look at it as a meditative practice and really use this time to check in with yourself and resolve to stillness. Um, I'm going to invite you today before we start to actually just think of something that you need to nourish. Maybe there's a word or just a vision in your mind and something that even you could do for today. Like how could you nourish yourself so that you can become a better partner, a better parent, a better friend just today going forward, you know, something small, you know, or maybe there is something deeper that you would like to nourish, in which case you are welcome to bring that to your mat as well. We're going to start with five Ujjayi breaths. So coming to this comfortable position that feels right for you. And rest your hands in your lap. And you can have them upturned if you want to receive energy and you can downturn them if you just feel you want to ground where you are. And then deeply inhaling, mouth closed. Allow your belly to expand. And then exhale, your belly will retract in. Inhale, mouth closed. Exhale, mouth closed. Inhale, exhale, really think about your intention. What are you here to nourish today? Inhale, exhale. We'll do that one last time. Inhale, exhale. and settle into this moment. You have given yourself this half an hour for you. So just bring yourself fully onto your mat. Bring your hands to your heart if that feels comfortable. And we'll set our intention. I am here to nourish myself. 
I am here to nourish myself. I deserve this time for me. I deserve this time for me. I am here to nourish myself. I am here to nourish myself. And just relax, come to a comfortable breathing, seated position. You just feel like we have arrived. We've arrived in this moment, we have arrived for this yin practice. So we're gonna come into the first posture, which is gonna be melting heart. So coming to your knees on your mat, knees to hip dis uh, to mat distance, toes to touch at the back. And you're gonna walk your hands down, option always to bring your forehead to your stacked fists. And I apologize, I just said toes to touch. I meant keep your knees actually at uh, hip distance. And the aim is to keep your hips over your knees as much as possible. And then walking your hands down, you're gonna bring your chest to the floor. So choose the position that works well for you. And I'm gonna set the timer for three minutes. So remember, come into it as deep as feels right for you. And not too deep so that you're in pain. And just where you feel that you can hold it for these three minutes. And I'm gonna start the timer now. And just breathe. I want to remind you that before there were postures, yoga was about meditation and yin is actually thought to be the first kind of yoga, the seated position of holding it in meditation. So that's just something to think about as we enjoy this melting heart. I think it's so important to balance our yang practice where we use more energy, where we use more words, where we sometimes practice to mantras or music, to balance that with yin and just resolve to be silent, to welcome in the sounds that are in your environment and just accept them as part of your experience in this moment. As you're in this pose, just bring your thoughts to nourishment and what you need to nourish in yourself. Perhaps you are nourishing the desire to slow down and appreciate each moment. So allow this practice to encourage you to slow down and be with your thoughts. And there's our goal. 
So slowly bring yourself out. And we're going to come into a belly shavasana this time. So just ease yourself onto your belly. Bring your forehead to your hands, perhaps. And we're going to take a one minute rebound. And this is just to realign your body. Reflect on the stretch that you just did. Reflect on how it felt in your body. Try and relax your shoulders. <clears throat> relax every part of you. And there's our goal. So slowly, we're going to stay on our bellies. And we're going to take a sphinx pose. So staying on your belly, coming to your forearms. Keeping your gaze towards the floor so that your neck is happy. And we're going to hold this position again for three minutes. Of course... I encourage you to try and hold it, but if at any point you feel discomfort or you've had enough, just slowly come back down to your belly shavasana. So just know that when we're doing yin, we're working the deeper tissues, we stimulate strength, because we're working those less elastic areas. We're purposefully stressing the joints and this improves mobility. I'm always curious to know where you are practicing, so feel free to leave a little comment either below this video or in our course platform. Let me know how this landed with you, where you are. Did you feel inspired to take your yin practice out into the garden? I'd love to know. feels incredibly meditative to me because I can hear the birds in the hedgerow. I can see bugs crawling through the long grass. Just a reminder of all life. And how we all need to be nourished in order to live a good life. Just one more minute left in this pose. If your arms are burning, just letting you know to see if you can push towards your edge, but not over. Just 15 seconds. And there's our gong, well done everyone. Just bring your forehead down. 
And we'll just take this belly shavasana again for a rebound of one minute. Allow the muscles in your arms to fully relax. Allow your back to just sink down towards the mat. Deeply breathe and relax. And there's our gong. So slowly coming up, we're going to come into a seated position. Any which way that suits you. And we're actually just going to take a break and do a nice pranayama breathing exercise for a moment. So come to your comfortable seated position. I invite you to take a deep breath in. When we exhale, bring your tongue to the roof of your mouth and we're going to make a lovely bumblebee sound. Mm. Inhale. And just exhale normally. And the next time that we do this, really think about that beautiful vibrational sound traveling through your body. Think about it calming you. Think about it bringing you to a slower state of mind. Think about it nourishing you inside. So deeply inhale. Exhale, tongue to the roof of your mouth. Mm. Inhale, once more, mm. inhale, and just let it go, and just think about feeling calm. Okay, we're going to come into another posture. We're going to come into half butterfly. So bringing one leg out in front of you and your other leg bent and bringing your foot to the inside of your thigh. And we're going to fold over here. Now folding over might be here for you, if you especially if you have any sciatica or lower back problems. Don't allow your body to curve, but just, just sort of lean you know, think about getting into your body, think about what works for you. It doesn't matter what a posture looks like, it's about how it feels. So work out where your appropriate level is to come to. And I'm gonna set the timer for three minutes. And just resolve to stay wherever you are. Enjoy breathing into your back, into your leg. Breathing in and feeling your body. So important that we cherish and nourish these amazing bodies of ours that we we just expect to take us from one day to the next. And we can be so hard on ourselves. So this is your invitation to not be hard on yourself, but to be kind to yourself. And to really think about the amazing body that you have.
And just allow yourself to expand as you breathe and feel yourself even coming deeper into the pose a millimeter by millimeter as you give yourself over with the breath. And just over a minute left. Just really consider what's going on deep inside your body. All the parts of you that you are nourishing right now by allowing yourself this half an hour to come back to you. Well done. And there's our gong. So helping hands. Gently walk yourself back up from wherever you are. We're gonna come into a Shavasana. So lying on your back. And we're just gonna do one minute rebound. And just allow your back to fully give over into the mat. How do you feel? Does one side feel different to the other? Are you pushing yourself out of your comfort zone a little today? It's always good to come to your edge. I really hope that you can hear this beautiful bird song. <laughs> and there's our gong, so releasing yourself and coming back up to seated. And we're going to do half butterfly on the opposite side. So bringing your leg out and your um, Opposite foot to the inside of your leg. I'm going to set the timer for three minutes. And then just fold over. And just know that wherever you are coming to is right for you on your yoga journey. It's right for you today. Every day looks different. So just be gentle with yourself and know that it's okay that every day looks different. Yoga is about stilling the mind, that's the goal. And coming into these postures and surrendering into them. Allowing yourself to be still is a really wonderful way to achieve clarity of thought, compassion, and a sense of being able to live your life slowly when you need to. 
We all need the yin to our yang. And just over one minute left in this position, this half butterfly. Just bring your thoughts to your intention, to your desire to nourish some part of yourself or your life. Because when you fill your own cup, only then do you have what you need to help fill other people's cups. And there's our gong. So again, helping hands slowly come up. We come into Shavasana for rebound. Just for one minute, bringing yourself gently down. And just think about the practice that you've done today. Think about how it feels in your body, the stretches. Where does your body feel like it's opening and responding to this practice? And where can you perhaps invite in some yin to your life? It might be in the morning, in bed, before you get up, you could just try and do a yin pose, just holding it for a minute or two. There's our gong. And before we take our final shavasana, I'm just gonna invite you to bring both knees in for full wing pose. Give yourself a hug. Maybe even roll from side to side, easing out your back done a lot of back strengthening today, hip opening, maybe lower one leg down and keep one leg hugged in. And breathe into it. Swap knees, so bring your other knee in for a hug, lower the opposite leg. and breathe. And then I invite you to just lower down into final Shavasana. I'll just come to a seated position for this final part, but you stay in lying down position. And we'll just do two minutes of just taking you through a short little body scan. So wherever you are lying down, relax your body fully into the mat, fully surrendering. Relax the shoulders, your legs, your facial muscles, just arrive on your mat and just say thank you to yourself, to your body. And just bring your attention to your toes, your feet, the arches of your feet, your heels, ankles, calf muscles, shins. Allow your awareness to flow up through your body like a river flowing through you. So to your knees, front and back, your thighs. As you work your way up, just 
imagine all the beauty and the amazingness that is happening inside of your body right now. Keeps you breathing, keeps you moving, up through your hips, into your belly, your lower back. Breathe in, allow that water to come up to your chest, your shoulder blades, all the way up to your shoulders. And allow the water to flow down into the tops of your arms, both arms simultaneously, your elbows, forearms and hands. Just imagine that your awareness is coming to the very tips of each of your fingers. So many nerves and channels throughout your body that are just working each and every day. So take this half an hour as your gratitude time for your body. And we'll just bring that awareness through to your neck, front and back into your face, your cheeks, your nose, eyebrows, forehead, to the crown of your head, your whole head. Just imagine that water moving through you, nourishing every single part of your body just as it should be nourished. And just finally bring your attention from the tips of your toes to the tips of your fingers to the crown of your head. A quick body scan, acknowledging and appreciating and thanking everything. Deep breath in. When you're ready, just turn on to your side into fetal position. position of new beginnings. What can you take from this practice into your day, your night, your week? What can you take that will nourish you going forward? Coming up into a seated position. And when you're there, arms up and over your head, hand palms to touch. Just bring your hands to your head. I wish you clarity of thought, that you may know and recognize what needs nourishing and when. To your heart, that you will show yourself the love that you need to feel nourished and I send you love and I thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.